Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my follow New Vegas Let's Plays on very hard difficulty, including hardcore. So in today's episode, we're gonna be continuing to do nothing but a hound dog. So we gotta move uh, to this location here. But it seems like I need to follow this path over here so I don't get lost. I'm gonna put a marker over here or northern passage. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm just gonna put a marker over here so I don't get lost. Yes, and that's where we are gonna head first. All right, so with my guns. All right, good, good, good. Let's move out. <clears throat> so, how are you enjoying these current episodes? Pretty curious to find out. Thing I oh. I'm thinking that I'm gonna start uh, investing into like fortune finder, maybe. Because I'm tired of picking everything. Cool. I have not been there ever. Let's hope I don't forget to visit that place. Alright, and let's step away from the road. So maybe we'll find some more target practice, some guys to kill. Alright. Thing is, I'm curious how far am I into the game? Am I even close to getting to completion by the main story? <laughs> I feel it's, it's not the case. What is that? Uh, from far it looks like big flies or something. Alright. Probably the target is behind that house over there. Can't run from me. I hate when these things happen, man. I thought I thought that I was getting killed. Boom, that's how you shoot, man. The gang member, huh? Okay. Rest in peace. Alright, I'll take that water. There they are. A whole bunch of home dogs. Or I think to weapon stability because this is crazy. Yeah, man. I can't aim with that. The stability of the weapon is just so bad. Get back, Yodi. I got you. Yodi, hide. I think I'm good on food. Yeah, I'm good on food. Okay, whatever. Or increase my defense somehow. But I think that the defensive perks are with Edrance, and my Edrance is like zero. Whoa, 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 shit. Almost got killed.
Who was supposed to cover me? Get the hell out of here. I'll take that weapon. Damn, I'm safe. <laughs> My hands are shaking now, man. I thought I was going to die and I'm going to have to replay all the five minutes. <laughs> and where you at? Ed? Give me my tequila. What? I'm running out of tequila? I thought I had more than that. A secure meal. Four. Where the hell am I? How can I increase my defense? That's the main question. Whoa, 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 Thank you, bonehead. Shit. I mean, you seeing this, I'm getting killed like, like as if, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> how, I need to, how can I increase my defense? This is stupid. If I can't do damage, I, I should be at least a little bit defensive, but I, ha I have no idea how to increase my defense. Oh, oh. Juicy loot. Empty bottle. No, why are you doing that? Stupid game, man. Radiated water, healing powder. No. Oh. There we go. Oh, what? Okay, fine. I'll take it just, just so I can sell it. Okay, any ideas how I can increase my defense? <laughs> Should I start investing like into uh, Edurance or something? Man, too bad you can't respec. Where the hell is the bottle? The empty one. I know I picked one up. Ah, I picked up the radio water. 16 red as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna drink that water. Right. <laughs> Safe. You know what? I'm gonna load. I just saved. <laughs> Come on, give me a break, man. Where is that mine? Why didn't I see it? There it is. So I can see that mine or something. Why 
What the hell is this? Oh, that's a bar. Thought for a second probably it's a satellite or something. Such a big building. Oh, damn. That thing poisons real bad. Ed, it's coming, man. It's coming. You with it? How'd you let it through? Oh, man, that sting is looking big, man. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna poke right through you. <laughs> That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. My hands are shaking in the morning. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I see when I see a death clock? I'm gonna probably freak out. <laughs> Nothing here. Really? Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's killer. Party time. Where the hell am I? Oh, we're getting close. How about we sneak peek in that building over there? And by then we should be closer to the location. Phew, man. Yo, Ed, you see anybody? Playing a guy, <laughs> a survival game or something. Jeez. Oh, we got a dead guy. It's never a good sign. to this box? That looks like a... Oh, it's not a door. Oh, it is. Lol. dead and it's got the thief sign and all this stuff which kind of sucks all right we're not gonna steal anything let's go move ahead let's go bonehead but that's a weird door man I would never guess that's a door <laughs> all right now I can remove the damn marker Let's go, man. We got 
got this. Why do I feel like I'm gonna run into an ambush right now? <laughs> this is a perfect spot for an ambush. <laughs> Remember a couple of episodes ago? Kinda same scenario, I was following the road and there were like cliffs from, from both sides and then I got shot from a rocket launcher. <laughs> Blown up and I thought I stepped on the mine. <laughs> And I think I dropped a F-bomb that moment. <laughs> oh man, this game. Okay, we got some hostiles. Thank you, Ed. Man, thank you guys for recommending me getting these companions. If it wasn't for these, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to go this far. <laughs> With my messed up build. Man, if I'm gonna be playing Fallout 3 after this, I'm definitely gonna go all in for self-damage and survivability <laughs> so, that's how you do it <laughs> What's up? Spots enemies from such your dehydration. Oh. I should have some water on me. There we go. There we go. Should have just drank one bottle. Ball. meat how much oh man this guy recovers a lot of uh, hunger should get some of his meat although we got some uh, heck echo meat or whatever that creature is called like a little uh, t-rex with ability to fire breath where the hell what tree where the hell are we? And where's the map? Data. Map. Okay, I am going the right way. Wow, that's cool. I thought I would never see some green stuff in this game. Which makes me think that <laughs> this might be not a good spot. <laughs> a lot of cockroaches would love to live here. Ooh, what is that? Is that a mine? Oh, mama. Look how many hostiles we got there. She. All right, sneak mode. Save mode. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so he's thinking too. <laughs> empty bottle, man. Come on, why is it empty? Let me throw. Lol. Let's 
Oh boy. Scroll all that stuff. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. So I guess there's a lot of targets on top. Uh huh. That's my XP right there, by the way. Come on, let's go up. Oh my. Oh my, what the hell is that? Goddamn cricket. Well, it's not a cricket, actually. I forgot how these are, things are called in English. In Russian, they're bugamol. Ah! <laughs> Help me! Bonus! Oh, I'm aiming for the head. Good. Head. What the hell? I was just aiming for the head. Oh my god, are you serious right now? And it doesn't allow me, something happened. There we go. It doesn't allow me to select, oh wait, RT. Damn, I thought I was me dying right now. You think you anything good? How much HP am I missing? Yo, Ed, I need some more of that tequila. My hands are shaking, man. I, I need to stabilize my condition. <laughs> Now I feel good. Now we can go shoot some. Hello. <laughs> Get out of here, my neighborhood. Are we getting close? Sort of. I'm actually too he he like happy to see some green life. This is all those desert, 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 man. It's Skeletons all over the damn place. Oh, it doesn't weigh anything. Cool. You know what? Let's see. Got a bad feeling about this. Alright. Good now. Let's go.
that a mansion? Oh shit, what the hell is that? Super Mutants. Oh great. And they're not hostile. I wonder why. Hello, Super Mutant. Friends? Stupid big owners were making noise all night again. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Say what? He sounds like a human. Doc's inside the lodge. Such as was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Wow, I'm surprised. Bighorners, good eating. And we can trade the hides. Got a lot of wild ones around here, so it's easy to restock the herd. Yeah, that's true. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. Super mutant army? What the hell? Long story, so here's the short version. The master created the super mutants and nightkin. The master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. Town was broken hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Ghouls well, living together? Most of the time. What? <laughs> we were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. All right. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. <laughs> all right. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. <laughs> well, didn't know that. <laughs> Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I'm shocked. <laughs> See you. 
a talking mutant polite not saying I'm gonna crush your skull hello <laughs> Yeah. Someday, I miss being in the master's office. Look at all that XP, man. Oh. But, on the other hand, they will start not to like me. But, I like these dudes. Can we become allies? Another human. One was enough. And bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. Why don't we have Nightkins in Fallout 76? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nikon. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Okay, man. Finally. Damn. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner, son of a bitch. The hell? A dog with a head of a snake what you doing here doc someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch good riddance I assume this is about something important you're interrupting my research I don't see him with you bring him to me and I'll take a look otherwise I'll just be guessing what But I told the dog to come with me. I thought it was following me. Are you serious? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also got hey, my hands a on a working <laughs> stealth boy Mark II prototype. But that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks, and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible. 
but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. If we must. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Damn. If we must. I prefer the solitude. And having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. All right, man. How do I get the dog then? What the hell? Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the DuraFrame reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot DuraFrame Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all DuraFrame assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Hellfire Armor. I like that. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Okay, um, how the hell do I get the dog? Do I have to leave Ed behind or something? Let's go through the north gate. I told that stupid dog to come and follow me, but it didn't. Now what? Giant rat. <laughs> but if I let go Ed, where the hell do I meet him again? Or do I have to let go? Oh yeah, can we do go this way. If it can be bought, it can be I remember that promotion kid. Doing a good job. Okay, here's the kings. Come on, Rex, follow me. I want to take a closer look at you. I think we should travel together. Uh huh. Yeah, man. Okay, I get it. Um, Ed, give me all the stuff for now. I'll try to come back for you. But in case if I don't find you, back up. Talk to. I'd like to make some ammo. Let me access your. Tools, follow, open, terminate, terminate, log off. <laughs> Do I have to terminate? Wait here. I think it's just a command to wait here. Uh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Uh, 
and let's save I'll try to terminate him <laughs> by the way follow me talk and companion protocol Ed has returned to Prim uh-huh you have lost Ed Edmund Sensor Park Okay, so I need to get him from Prime again. Okay, cool. I want you to charge your combat style. <laughs> ah, little. When you attack enemies, the moment you see them, I want you not to attack enemies unless I have already engaged them. As soon as you see him, boy. Good boy. Good boy, Rex. Let's trade equipment. Actually, wait. Misk? Bonehead will carry Misk. <laughs> Let's see how Bonehead performs. I mean, Rex. Don't you dare eat my meat, Rex. So wait, I can't have Ed and Rex at the same time, right? That sucks. Bonehead? Fine by me. Oh, <gasps> my guns. I need to be more careful. Hey, where's the other gun? Oh, I was using a submachine gun. Man, I hate this dog. I need to redo my... Hey, is that the king's dog? Going to the Wrangler tonight? Where are you? Ha ha! Can I fast tra fast travel from here? I should be able to, right? But first, now let's go do the quest. Got a problem? Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Whoever they are, they want us dead or gone. Not looking to fight. 
That'll give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. All right. Thanks. Welcome, my friend. All right, we got another quest. Cool. There must be some purified water in this mansion. I mean, it's it is a mansion, right? Someone finally put... Is there something else I can do for you? It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Great. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Oh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Hi, Calamity. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. Once in a while, I ventured down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Repaired. Let me take a look. Uh huh. She can repair my armor. One thousand caps, woman. You gonna make me go broke? <laughs> Show me what you got for sale. All right. Ooh, she got some caves. And I just gave everything away, didn't I? Wait. All right. Take that. You have stem packs? Ooh, I'll get them all. Damn, this thing is expensive, huh? Bonehead. Another satisfied cut. But anyway, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed Fine it. And if me. you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity. As those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, feel free to comment. The only thing that I ask of you is not to swear. Simple as that. So once again, thanks all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this current episode. Bye now.